Hi, this is Ken Adro. Hopefully by now you've read enough of the uh, our sales page to, to see the value of Exit Pop Monetizer and how easy it is to use and how effective it is to use. But now let me take a few minutes to show you how easy it is to actually set up and get using. All you simply have to do is download the script, unzip it to a folder that you'll remember, and then paste it into your FTP uh, server through uh, any FTP client um, or through your FTP uh, manager in your cPanel. Let me show you how to do this. It's actually very simple. Here I am at my FTP client. I use the Ipswich WS FTP Home. Uh, you could use whichever one you want. Um, entirely up to you, whichever one you feel most comfortable with. And all I really have to do is simply find it on my computer where I unzipped it, highlight it, click the transfer button, and presto. It's all moved over to my server. The only other thing I have to do at this point is I need to shemod every one of these files to 755. Now that includes this folder and everything in it. 755, you remember that number? You're all set. She mod them all and you're done. Now let me show you what the admin panel looks like. Okay, once you have it all uploaded and you set everything to 755, um, you can log in to your admin panel. You simply go HTTP yoursite.com front slash the folder you, you uploaded to front slash admin PHP and it takes you here. The only other thing you need to do is log in and it's QQ is the default admin password and uh, you can change that later on at the bottom of the admin panel but here's the admin panel itself. Now you may have seen on the site already you, you want your exit pop-up to look something like this and this admin panel is where you go to modify it. As you can see everything is listed and labeled so you can easily find it and change it. The header text goes up here before you go um, whatever you want to put in there is fine to attract attention. Uh, the question uh, could you tell us why you're leaving? Could you tell us why you didn't buy this product? Whatever. Um, I can also change down here in dimensions the width of my pop-up in case I want to ask a longer question. I can change the height of my pop-up in case I want to add more answers in so they all fit. I can change, as you see it changed back instantly. I can change my question font size to make that stand out, make it bigger, make it smaller. It, it all depends on what kind of effect I'm trying to have. I answer font I can also make bigger or smaller. Um, whatever you feel is uh, appropriate. Now down here in position I can change where the exit pop actually will show up once my exit exit uh, visitors are, are leaving and uh, I can put it in the top left, the top middle, top right, middle left, middle middle, middle right. I prefer the top right because that's usually where the big X is when they go to click it off so they're already focusing their attention in that area so that's where I leave it but it's up to you. Down here I can change my visuals. Um, I can change the font family to make it stand out or match my page. I particularly prefer Verdana so I leave it like that. Um, I can change the background color of my pop-up to make it either stand with my page or stand out from my page in contrast. I can change the border color too just to make it look a little bit more outstanding. I can also change the text color of my question to make that stand out. Now if you look here 
we have our series of answers and each one of these radio buttons are connected to an answer. The radio buttons are also connected to either an affiliate product, an alternate product that you know you might have, a resale rights product or a squeeze page or whatever you want to um, direct, redirect your exiting visitors to. Uh, and as soon as they click on this, they're instantly taken to that page. So down here, I can put my survey answers. Each one of these here goes down here. I was looking for a pop-up blocker, so I'd put it in here, and that links to an affiliate product. Or I was looking for your affiliate program. You put it here and add the link to your affiliate program. Whatever you wanted to do, um, and you can add in as many as you want by just simply adding a new option down here, adding the link to it, click add, another blank one pops up, the new one's added here, and you can keep going uh, for as long as you want. All you have to do is click save changes and it's automatically saved and configured for you and then you simply just have to copy and paste this and you put it right into your HTML page right here right under the body tag that's it then you simply have to save the page upload the page let it override what's already there and you're all set from this point on, whenever your visitors are leaving your site, they'll get their eg your exit pop-up and you'll be giving them options. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to set up Exit Pop Monetizer. Just a few steps and you're on your way to capitalizing on every visitor that cl tries to click your site off. Hopefully you can see how easy this is, how beneficial it is to use, and how it's much more humane, much more professional than putting up one of those flashy don't leave my site type block ups that most of the time just annoy people. So thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy Exit Pop Monetizer and let us know what you think. Thank you very much.